hi and welcome to java login system this login system was uh, actually a request from one of my viewers out there so let me just show you how it works there you enter king and here you enter one if you click on that it will take you straight onto my restaurant management system but just before that let me show you how the that works and you can always click on this and you exit the system so let's enter king king one right there there and that takes you straight into the restaurant management system oh so just before i take you guys straight into java net being development environment i need to show you something when you finish developing yours okay make sure the form is selected come to the property okay, you see here the default is always exit exit on close okay my exit on close do work but if the system flashes then you have to set it to dispose okay but with exit on close it does work for me but for some other reason it might not work for some other people out there so now we run it again just to prove that it works on my right click and run the program run it yeah there we go so i enter my password okay and one right there so if i click on this it would make take me straight onto the restaurant management system so let's go to java net being where we will develop a brand new login system together hi this is an email i received from one of my viewers out there in the first place he didn't believe i was going to forward the code of a visual basic program to him well i don't blame him is because he doesn't know the kind of person I am I always keep to my words okay the second place he would like me to show him how to develop an interface maybe something that is similar to a login system that would display a welcome message in Java so I've decided to create a login system so this login system that I intend to create I might as well embed that with my restaurant management system so I will take it straight to the restaurant management system right now that is the restaurant management system that I developed I think I developed this last month on the 6th of uh, May so what I intend to do is to incorporate or embed a login system into it so let me close that this is in java net bin so i close that start a new program or oh, no i don't need to start a new program i already have this restaurant management system there okay i've created a copy of it here so i'll right click on the file select uh, select new and then go to frame so right in there i'm just going to enter login Okay, that will be the name login system okay now here inside I give that a name now I can just call it I can leave that there I will leave that as uh, rest underscore whatever let me just copy that I might need it later on click on ok and there I have my the interface for my login system now so what I'll do is just to set, let me define the, the property and now let's come to prefer size, maybe let's make that prefer size 1000, maybe 1400, yeah, and here maybe 700, that's my prefer size, okay, I will now extend this about that let's bring it down a little bit more and the next thing I want to do now is let me get a panel on board I mean right there I have a panel there 
and just draw it off about that I just want to make it look pretty anyway all I'm doing is just an ordinary login system alright so I will then come to the property and look for the border let's get the border the border should be here somewhere maybe right up there there that's the border okay select line border and just enter I'm gonna enter about let's make that 40 and the color yeah okay black black is fine there and that is that okay let's see that looks good let's move it in maybe another another border anyway let's embed another border right in in here somewhere let's get another border right there let's move it here and drag it to about that all right so go to the property and change the border okay the first one is 40 and this one I can just make maybe 20 and change this to white we'll change that to white right there and 20 white so that is fine okay the next thing I want to do now is to come back here get my button one button and the second button then I need a password login field right there I need a text box or a text field got my text field right there now I need label one label and two labels so I'll just design this interface and get back to you guys okay I've finished designing my interface for the login system and this is how it looks so what I intend to do now is to enter some few lines of code to get it working all right let's close the system and right here okay let's just give that a name and this will be known as JTXT username why this one will be known as let's just call it J password delete the other there J password okay they both have a name now the next thing I want to do now is uh, maybe let's just take care of the exit first right here on the exit I'm just going to enter systems system dot exit right there that's just for the exit and that's that taken care of why this let's take care of the reset button paste that in there dot set text text make that null value alright so the other one is j password dot set text and that will be null value as well there so the resets are both taken care of now we need to import the following libraries so if we want the system to work we need as follows those libraries right there okay and this one I'm gonna have to change this to I'm gonna have to change this to the name of my restaurant so let's change this as well yeah that's my restaurant right there that's the name I'm, I'm just importing boots look at them okay now since I've uh, imported our data required so take a good look at it all right so the next thing we want to do now is to go to this login button double click on that right there I will then enter as follows so let's say declare the following variable string 
that should be okay spring password let's say password equals j password dot get text all right that's for my password if you notice this is crossed out and uh, it's because I've deleted the content inside the password that's why you didn't see it if I come into my design right here this is my password and supposing I decide to enter any data in here and the text here whatever I entered you will see it in form of dots that's it right there but I've deleted that so let's get rid of that okay now let's go back in there the next one we want to declare now will be Let's declare another string variable username equals jtxt user username dot get text there. So I've declared both of my password. So we now need an if statement. So we're gonna start by saying if password dot contains right there okay that contains whatever you want it to be so let me just say um let's give it let's give it one all right that's the that's the password okay and The other one that is username username dot contains what does the username contains okay maybe if you want we can give it let's just call it uh, maybe king all right if it contains that what do we want the system to do we want the system to open up the other application okay so we want you to open the other application but we might as well let's set these two let's set them to nil value here right here okay now maybe we should declare a private quit first or private uh, exit so I will need what I would refer to as system exit. So let's say system. Now uh, let's come here first, right underneath here. Let's right at the end here. Okay, you can click there and we're gonna enter as follows system exit. That's my own private void system ex exit. So I will now come up here. This is supposed to be window and change this as well to window. Okay, that's fine now. And this will be capital window. Alright, that's fine. So I'm just gonna copy this system exit and I'll co come back here and place it right underneath here. Okay, and then the semicolon. Okay, the next thing is I will then call my restaurant form here yeah, that's the restaurant form and make it visible All right so the next thing would be to enter an else statement there so that's the else else i want this message box to pop up invalid login details then this would be the title login error and this would just display error message so if i if I run this system now, let's come here. Let's run it and see. Right click on the login system and so select run. There. And think that's one and here is king. Right there. There. So if I click on that arrow. So let's see exits and which is which let's see nice king 
Oh, username is king, password is one. All right, let's do that again. So right click again and run it. So the user, I'm running the wrong thing. So exit this very one and give it a shot again. Login, run the file. Now, username, that will be king. And password, let's say it's one. There we go, guys. And I suppose I've answered your question. It's now working as you want. If you guys want to see this uh, restaurant management system, it was developed on the 6th of March. It's already on YouTube. You can all, you will see the codes, everything in there. So, but for the login system, here are the codes for the login system from here down here those are the lines of codes for the login system okay and the reset codes there they are the exit code and up here you're going to have to import as follows okay and with that I'm going to call it the end of this login system i suppose you all enjoy it and my friend out there i suppose i've answered your question you have a nice day now bye for now man